Hi there, good morning. Well, I hope you're well today. <laughs> a new day, new opportunities just to spend a few minutes in God's Word this morning. Well, my husband Dion and I were sitting the other day and we were just having a chat about going back home to South Africa and all the things that we enjoy doing and the good memories that we have from back home. And one of the things we as a family really enjoy doing, we like doing, is going to the Wimpy and having a meal. And I remember this now on our last trip back home, we did go to the Wimpy and they handed us the menu. And I remember looking at the menu and quite a lot had changed uh, since we were last there. And one of the things that stood out to me was that you could choose, um, you could make a choice as to what side you wanted with your main meal. So you could have chips, or you could have salad or you could have pup. Now, if you don't know what pup is, pup is a traditional meal um, that is made in South Africa, that they make it with softly ground, uh, soft grounded maize meal. And um, we thoroughly enjoy it. Well, I especially <laughs> thoroughly enjoy it. For me, it was no choice when I looked at that menu as to what I was going to have. Um, it was just definitely pup all the way for me. I could eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It was just something that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Well, it made me start to think about us in life, about choices that we have on a day-to-day -day basis in life. And that's reminded me of the scripture that I want to share with you this morning. And it's in Psalms 119 and it's verse 60. And it says, I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Well, I love that. That's David speaking. You know, as I was reading this, I was thinking to myself, we have... Uh, choices all the time to make but you know God is such a gentleman that is our God he is such a gentleman and will never push us into anything um, he gives us his guidelines and he gives us his plans for our lives but we have the choice are we going to follow them or are we not going to follow now you know when we truly love God and you know we have that relationship with God uh, more than anything it shouldn't really be a choice whether we are going to obey or not obey um, we should make the choice. We should hurry, as David says in the scripture, without delay to follow the commands of God. And daily, we have the opportunity to obey or not to obey. Um, and here are just a few of the choices that we have to make on a day-to-day -day basis. And the first one is faith versus fear. Are we going to choose to be in faith today or are we going to choose to be in fear today? Um, are we going to have joy, joy unspeakable and full of God's glory? Or are we going to have gloom? Um, are we going to love or are we going to hate? Um, are we going to walk down the road of obedience or are we going to choose to disobey? Um, are we going to choose to go and, and have God as our God of peace? Or um, are we going to live in, a, in an environment of discord? Um, are we going to trust God for everything, trusting him and having confidence in his word? Or are we going to have disbelief? Um, are we going to have purity or are we going to choose indecency? Um, the choices we have on a day-to-day -day basis, they go on and on and on. But, you know, if only we could grasp that the benefits of obeying God's words and for, uh, obeying God's principles for our lives uh, just go on and on and on. These are just a few um, when you experience um, that you and I can experience as we follow um, and obey and we choose to follow God's way, um, you are then in a position to be used by God. Um, you experience deep, deep peace on the inside of you. You walk in his blessing and in his favor. You move up in your spiritual walk with God. You become bold and you become courageous. Um, you walk in freedom. These are just a few of the benefits. There are so, so many more. You know, the list of benefits just goes on and on and on by pleasing God. So I want to encourage you today to be blessed today as you step out and without delay, um, as David said, without delay, you hurry to obey the commands and the principles that God has given you in his word for your life and for your family for today. So be blessed, be encouraged, and we'll chat again soon. God bless. Bye-bye.